Hi everyone and welcome. So it is day 16 in the EPIC program. It is back and biceps. Today you will need a pair of dumbbells. I'm going to be using two pair of dumbbells so I can go a little bit heavier and then I'll definitely need to go lighter. However, if you have one pair of dumbbells, you can certainly use those for the duration of this workout. The dumbbells I'm using today are 17 and a half kg each and also 8 kg each. You will also need a chair. As you can see here, I'm leaning against this chair just for my rows. Also, ideally a chair that you can raise your hips on and your head is supported for your pullovers. However, these can be done on the floor. So this is not essential. This is just an option. If you want to deepen the stretch, you can get a bigger range of motion where obviously the ground is further away. The timer will be on. 30 seconds is on the clock the whole entire way. This is just over 40 minutes, I think. At the beginning, we'll be starting with our more traditional sort of rows. So you'll be doing a row on one side, for example, then you go straight into the opposite side. Again, straight in to the first side and again. Then you get 30 second rest and we repeat that two times. So that is basically four times on each arm. Then 30 second rest and we move on to the next exercise. So anything that you see that's going to be unilateral, one armed, we go straight into the other side. Try to count how many reps you do on each side. For example, with my rows, I may do eight reps within the time period on one side. However, then I will make sure that I do eight reps on the other side. Just in case I have a stronger side and I could maybe do 10, I just want to try and keep them as equal as possible. So bear that in mind. You may stop then before the counter. For example, if I do eight reps on this arm and the beeper goes, I then go to do eight reps on this arm and the beeper still hasn't gone, I'll just stop. So try to bear that in mind. Try to count your reps so that you're even in both sides. With positioning of the rows, make sure you have a flat back. In order to do this, keep your chest open, don't hunch over, shoulders back and down, core nice and tight because as you're pulling, especially one armed, you don't want the spine to twist and that could aggravate your lower back. Keep your core nice and steady, stop as and when you need to. As I mentioned with the rows, I will be using 17 and a half when I'm doing my rows. However, if you have lighter weights and you feel that you can do more reps, certainly do. I'm expecting to maybe do eight or 10 reps per 30 seconds. However, if you feel that you can do 15 or 12 reps per 30 seconds, by all means do so. However, make sure that you control the way down. It's not just about swinging this dumbbell up and letting it drop. There is much work on the way down as on the way up. With the Renegade rows, you're really trying to focus on not moving the hips. Keep those hips as steady as you can. Feet a little bit wider, squeeze the quads. Take your time with this. It should be a lift through the back. We're not trying to twist in order to lift. At the very end, we will be doing a little burnout of biceps and it is basically a 21 movement. What I mean is you'll be doing seven reps at the bottom range of a movement of the curl, seven reps. You then do go into seven of the top range and then we go into seven full range. That is at the very end, do this at your own pace. I personally am expecting to have to stop several times in this. This is a hard enough move, especially after all of the back workout, which does involve the biceps. Then we've got some biceps specific and then we're finishing with our 21s. It's only one set of 21s. Drop the dumbbells as and when you need to. Please don't cheat yourself, keep those elbows steady. It is so easy to just curl up and sort of cheat a little bit, but no, set the dumbbells down or stand straight, take a second and then go again. Keep those elbows nice and steady. So yeah, I hope you've really enjoyed this workout. Take it slow, take it controlled, especially on the lowering part. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of these workouts. Let's go.
better turn up You better be there when I shake Watch me rockin' if I can't stop If I should fall, just go ahead Go and catch me, baby
from a different star Flying over streets and our broken hearts But they can't even touch us, we found a different beat Paradise is waiting and we bought the lead Cause we're dynamite Ain't nobody gonna hold us down Bring
so damn